Welcome everyone to a new video about the Sistema Karasnikova. In this video I will explain and demonstrate how to defend yourself against, against a direct punch. First of all, you should keep in mind that the punch is nothing more than another factor which is trying to come in collision with your body. To understand the factor uh, and how to work with it better, I recommend you watch our video about the factor and you will find a link, a link in the description section. Well, if I can call my assistant over here. What happens when someone punches you? You should analyze the situation first before you start training. Uh, uh, how to defend yourself against a punch, I should know what happens when I get punched. So, I ask my opponent to hit me, and I ask him to hit me as realistic as possible. So, I don't want him uh, to hit me fast and with full speed and full power, because I will, um, uh, I will risk getting injured. But I can ask him to punch with full power, but on a very slow motion speed so that I get the full effect of a punch minus the speed so I won't get injured. Very important that you train as realistic as you can but always make sure you avoid getting injured. So what do I see? I see his fist coming towards me and if I may stop him at this position look how his arm positioned. I see that the fist is the point that it's, it's most far away from the central axis. It means it's very easy to manipula manipulate the direction of his fist from this point. From here it is also pretty doable, from here it gets more, uh, more difficult. So when I meet the punch I don't want to meet it here or in the beginning here. No, I want it, I want to meet it here. Also I don't want to stop his punch because if I do, if I block it, for example, I give giving him <coughs> a signal and he will react to that signal and come with a second attack. What I want to do is I want to meet the arm in the same trajectory as it as it uh, uh, as his punches from his punch, and then I redirect that trajectory, not too far from me just near me. I don't stop his motion, I will let it continue. Once again you can also see I use the step by step to position myself. Huh. As you see now, my position became a lot more uh, advanced to attack him, to fight him, than it is for him to fight me. I can use the lever I can hit fist, open hand, I can attack the throat here. So you see, by meeting the fist correctly, meeting his punch correctly, and reposition myself, I create a lot of opportunities for me to work with. I can do it with, with this arm, and I can do it with my other arm. Huh. And as you see, I don't only twist my arm, but I use my body, my shoulders, my chest. You're always fighting with your whole body, not only one body part. Yeah, where is he weak? I can get him out of balance and finish him. <coughs> I can combine these two, one directing me even further, and look, I get in a perfect position to fight. Put pressure on his face, take him down, control him if I have to. So one possibility, using my other arm. Second one, combining them.
Thank you. I hope you found this information any useful. And if you did, please hit our like button and subscribe it to our channel, Transition CRT. See you next time.